are you so fat? Why is it so common to have portion sizes twice or three times the recommended serving size? Have we trained ourselves to eat big or have our genes made us this way? I seem to get the vibe that many people think that obesity is caused simply by eating a lot of junk food without exercising a lot. And also they point out the pattern that being overweight is ha like increases your chance of having overweight children. So that is of often believed to be attributed to a learned behavior. Mm -hmm. It's actually funny how society has like upper hand or like a head start on Evo Devo. Um, overeating, unhealthy diets, and family patterns are all things that can affect whether you'll become a beast. But what many people fail to realize is not only does your lifestyle make you more likely to become obese, but also your mother's lifestyle. Sure. Really? The mother's lifestyle too? Mm -hmm. During, after, or before pregnancy? Actually, all of the above, and that's what Evil Deep is all about. Wow. When a male and female reproduce, each passes on a replica of their genes to their offspring. 23 chromosomes from one parent unite to form an embryonic cell of 46 chromosomes. This idea of half of each parent's genes being inherited is illustrated by the offspring's two colors. The green half represents the genes inherited from one parent and the red half represents genes from the other. Throughout the offspring's life, it will maintain all of its genetic material. Past belief was that natural selection picked the organism that was best adapted to its environment. An embryo can maintain the phenotype similar to its parents or spontaneously adapt by acquiring a genetic mutation that increases its chance for survival. The heart-shaped environment de demonstrates a new environment introduced to the organism. In this model, a spontaneous mutation changes the organism into a heart. This mutation seems to be more favored than the illustrated circular genes inherited from its parents to live in the new environment. This individual therefore develops an adaptation and becomes more fit and more likely to pass on its genes to future generations. We currently understand that natural selection works with the environment, producing evolution as a byproduct. Environmental stresses cause genes of an organism to respond by being expressed as silence. This theory is known as Evo Devo. As in the previous model, the parents reproduce. The offspring, however, is environmentally influenced beginning from embryonic development through adulthood. It is constantly exposed and tweaked for improved expression in the changed environment. As you can see, the hand environment tweaks the gene to be most fit for that distinct environment, allowing its tweaked genes to be inherited by future generations. Evo Devo unifies two sciences, developmental biology and evolutionary biology. Developmental biology is based on the foundational theory that the formation of life is predictable and is repeated in every life cycle. What happens in one organism can be used to predict what happens in the next. Traditional evolutionary biology differs in the idea that changes in life characteristics occur randomly and consequently are not replicable. In conclusion, the big difference with the Evo Devo model is that the ancestor genes will continually be tweaked to evoke the best expression of the gene within that unique environment causing evolution over time. Evolution does not occur by chance but by guidance. I just read an article about how an obese female rat gave birth to two twin daughters. They each have the um, same genetic background as their mother, and they mated with um, with male rats of the same genetic background. But one um, one daughter was given a non-supplemented diet, and the other one was given a methyl-enhanced diet. And when they both reproduce and produce offspring, the one with the methyl-enhanced diet actually had children that were lighter in weight than her sister rat about the individuals play on becoming obese and what they said is they had a control group they had a, an experimental mm -hmm. group the control group just ate a regular meal normal meal and the experimental group actually it had that same meal but they used an extract with their meals and what they realized that over a 10 week period the experimental group that had the extract actually lost pounds in that amount of time whereas the normal group just packed on the pounds really and that was in humans yep Wow, that's crazy. It's amazing how like the little changes in your lifestyle can not only affect you, but also your offspring. And if you think about it, even though our current trend is like increasing obesity, mm -hmm. it's clear that we can actively take a part in shaping our species to evolve into a more healthy people. Yeah.